All right, folks, welcome back. So if you liked this and you want to know more about the 1.9 update and you want to see all of the tools in the 1.9 update used in a totally free course, go ahead and check out the link below for a free course on Affinity Photo 1.9, where we show you how to apply all of the updates. All right, on behalf of the Seven Season Studios, thank you so much for taking the journey with us, and we'll see you in the next one. All right, folks, welcome back to version 1.9. Now, this is an upgrade to Affinity Photo only. This has been around forever in Affinity Designer. So if you're a designer user, you've seen this show. This applies to adding text. And before, earlier, we've been taking just the text tool here and calling it rows, all right? Now, this is artistic text. We've had it forever, nothing new here, but what we haven't been able to do is apply this to say a shape. So now let me show you how this works. If I come in now and let's go ahead and just grab a shape, let's grab an ellipse and let's go ahead and bring this ellipse up. I'm just going to go ahead and kill this fill. So what I have here is a shape layer. Okay. Now I'm going to grab my move tool and I'm going to move it up here above the rows. And I'm going to delete that. And it looks like I have a little bit of outline there. We're going to go ahead and get rid of that too. All right. So now we just have our transparent shape. So when we do this part, we're going to come down now to the artistic text tool. And now you see it's a crosshair with the little capital A. Now watch this. If I approach the blue line, notice now it has changed to a swervy line with text. Now notice where the crosshair is. It is on the outside of the circle. So if I click here now, I'm now able to push text outside of the circle. And this little green box here allows me to move it around said circle. So to do that, grab the little green box or the little green uh, triangle and move it. Now you see it hit the orange one. When it hits the orange, it will try to wrap the text. So this is not the easiest. I'll tell you, as an Illustrator user, this was one of the things that I do not like about the way it does path on text, but it is now available. Now, if I go ahead and delete that, okay, let's go ahead and zip over. Let's go ahead and bring it to nothing. Now, if I want to go inside the circle, notice this, I'll take my little letter A, and I'll move it inside the circle until it turns black. And now I can post inside. Now, Affinity is not the best at this. I will tell you straight up, it's just not. When you go inside the circle, there's two things you could do now. In order to adjust it, because this is a common thing people see, make sure your character panel is out, okay? And now, if your character panel is out, and you select your text, you can increase the spacing of your letters. So it's a matter of what you really want to do with this. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna move this over to roughly 50%. And you see we get a little bit more spacing on it. So this takes a little bit of adjustment. It is not perfect, but it does give you some form of text on path. Now, the way that I choose to do this, you see how it's the low, slow boat here to get letter in between there, space? Watch this. If I start on the inside and I want to increase the space, one of the things I will do is I will increase the baseline, okay? So if you wanted to increase the baseline, that's a nice way to get some of that and to make sure that your text is adequately spaced. All right, folks, very simple text on path. This is something we've had forever in Affinity Designer. It's now made its way to Affinity Photo. All right, see you in the next one.